Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. Welcome everyone to another RSC Reviews. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have Grox and Skull Smasher, which should be uh, Grax, Grox, and Skull Crusher, Skull Cruncher, they, I don't know, it's Skull Smasher now, that, that's what it is. But uh, here he is in packaging, you have his head blasting off, we're coming down to connect. Um, adult assembly required, I didn't notice that. So kids, you cannot, you cannot do this on your own, you must have an adult. Um, Transformers down the side, Titans Return, Deluxe Class, Titans Return, same artwork on the side there. On the back here you have your product shots and some warnings. Sad. Don't be sad. Zero to three. If you're zero to three, you probably don't understand Transformers anyway, so. Some poses may re require additional support. Support your Transformers. And then you get a nice look at him in packaging. So let's go ahead and get him out of packaging. So here's Skull Cruncher or Skull Smasher out of package. You can see the collector's card with that same artwork with his head blasting off. And the tech specs on the back for Skull Smasher and Grax. Grox. Throw that off to the side. Then he this is how he comes in package. You have his head. Which is nice. Teeth are rubber. Do get a nice tongue detail in there. Rubber teeth. Nice painted eyes. Decepticon symbol on the top of the head. A little black or gray paint. And some purple on the bottom. And then that looks like, what is that? A place for the gun? Maybe? Maybe. All right. So, all you need to do now is just pop his head on, just like that, and then swing that down. And then, many people pointed out he is very, very loose. His legs are just like super loose, like they drop, like they. they forward and back. He he is he is loosey loosey goosey. Some alligators just weren't meant to stand on two legs. But you can stand him if you want once you get him straight up and he's okay. The gun will peg into the hand of course. Or when you have his crock head on his back, you can just peg it. So he is very loosey Goosey, as you can see, his his legs just go all over the place, uh, which is a shame. But you can these pop off very easily. You can put some future floor polish on these balls right here, even in the socket a little bit, and that'll uh, stiffen everything up just a little bit if you choose. And he does stand up fairly well once you get him stood up. And uh, down at the knee, he does have a upper thigh swivel. Bends at the knee, double jointed, so he got a lot of bend. Lots of bends at the knee. And then he has a little foot, little toe, toe waggle. It can go up uh, just due to transformation. So, let's take a look at his headmaster and pop it off right there. Here's a close-up of the head. Let's go ahead and unfold it. And you get a nice close-up of Grax. And his arms can go up and out. For a proper Titan Master hug. Little hug. 
they go in about that far. So put him off to the side. He's so little. Put him off to the side and then we'll get into transformation. So first thing you want to do to get him in the alligator mode is just fold up his feet. Just like that. To have everything together. Make sure his little toes are folded down. I don't know why these look like the ones that should slide in, but there's not really good room to slide them in. So you just have to press till they lock in place. Now legs, you can do whatever. There's no there's only one joint on them at this ball joint right here. Uh, it is tight, which is good. And then you're just going to bring, we'll open up the spot for the little Titan Master. And this is rubber. It, it Very strange choice. I don't know why they needed to make this piece rubber. Uh, I don't know why they couldn't do plastic. It certainly could have been plastic. A lot of people are like, it's too thin. No, this is pretty thick rubber. So, I don't see why they wouldn't been able to make that piece plastic. It just kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I'm sure there's a reason, but it, it, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So, we'll just go ahead and flip these arms around. And then they're just going to tab in, just like that. And there should be some tabs up here. There we go. They'll go in just like that. There's this line here that these two tabs will line up with and tab in. And then you can just flip his hands in. And then bring his head down. And they'll also tab in. And there you have... Oh, I forgot a piece. Where is that piece? Give me one second. There we go. I forgot his tail. So, his tail can go on... Peg on right back there. Gives it a little bit of waggle. Of course, you'll waggle it right off. Uh, and the gun can also clip in to act as a another piece or extension of the tail and there you go now you can just stick the tight master right inside can see uh, I guess sit like this there you go. And we'll just close that up. And again, that piece being rubber just drives me crazy. Not used to rubber transformers. Uh, and there you have Skull Smasher in his robot mode or or animal mode, whatever you. <laughs> His headmaster vehicle mode. Uh, the head can do a full rotation. You can get up, down, about that much, up about that much. Uh, really nice though. I really like the uh, the amount of movement on this head. Uh, and he can look up a lot more than he can look down, which is perfect. Get some nice detailing on the side there. Same thing on this side. Yet. uh... Paint on the feet, little paint right there at the silver part. 
And again, this piece can, tight master can sit inside there if you want. That can be probably like another little cannon type thing. Pop that out a little bit. There you go. Just for a sled, sled war gun, and then you know, they could even hold this in his hand, and you can be, you can be silly, basically. Um, so yeah, I I, <laughs> I guess Trypticon might possibly be in the Headmaster line if they if they you know get it that far, because then that would be nice. You get a full size. Autobot base in Fortress Maximus, and then you would get a Decepticon base full size uh, in Trypticon. So I think that would work. I know Trypticon wasn't a headmaster before, but he was always fighting. Uh, he was always fighting Metroplex, I guess. So, but yeah, they, you know, Trypticon is going to be the next thing we're getting. So no reason they couldn't make it a headmaster to give us that. Uh, at least even out the sides, I guess, for the Decepticons. And uh, just as a size comparison, he is very long. Uh, put him in here with hard head in vehicle mode, just to give you an idea how long there he is with this tailpiece. He is really long. Even without the tailpiece, he would still be longer about a head longer than uh, hard head. So, again, he's a pretty good size alligator. I really hope we see him repainted as an Optimus Prime because, I mean, there's not really too much else they can do with an alligator mold, so I'm sure they want to repaint this into something, and I would assume that would be one of the first options. So, again, uh, Everyone, thanks for watching. This is my fourth Titan Deluxe review. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a lot more uh, Titans Return stuff, as well as some third-party stuff coming up that you're definitely going to want to check out. And uh, thank you guys for checking out this video, and we'll see you next time.